You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome to our continuing coverage of CES Live here, 2014. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm John P. I'm Georgia. And uh, I don't know what else there is to say other than to introduce our next guest. We actually have Heather here from Griffin Hi. Technologies. I just say Griffin. Yeah, Griffin. Griffin's good. You, but technically, <laughs> you guys are Griffin Technologies. But does anybody say the technologies part or is uh, it just Griffin? Yeah, people know us as Griffin. So, yeah, yeah we can go with that. Sweet. <laughs> So um, you guys have already talked a little bit, and we mm -hmm. talked the other night, yes. but we're so glad to have you on because you guys have been going crazy with announcements lately. Yes, we have. We've got a lot of cool product out. Um, right now, uh, we have our Merchant Case Plus Square Reader that was just announced. Um, we've partnered with Square uh, to develop this case. Um, can you see that there? Let's talk about Square for a second, just yeah. in case people don't know what it is. It's a little device that mm -hmm. you get. This, it's actually this, square. it looks like a square, right? Mm -hmm. It's this little device and it plugs into like your headphone jack. Right. And you can scan a credit card. Right, merchants can, uh, yeah, scan credit cards and take payment um, on the go. Right, but the problem, the one problem with it has been it is this little square device that plugs yep. into a headphone jack. Exactly. And that's it. Right. And if you have cases on, it doesn't really work with them, and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And I've, I've already lost mine. Oh, I lost have you? I lost one. I had one, I lost it. I, I lost no idea it, because it. it. it's just so small, right. and where do you keep it when you're not using it? Right, well, we've actually developed the perfect case for that. There you go, <laughs> yeah, that's the setup. Yeah, here it is, there the merchant case. Yeah, so um, this case, we've developed it with a little groove here. Um, you can just insert the square, and it fits nicely into there. Um, there's a little groove here as well that can guide the credit card. Um, for a quick swipe, Sweet. take the payment. Smart. Um, and what's even uh, better about the case uh, is that you can flip it around there and you can store the uh, card reader whenever you're finished. That's so crazy. you're not going to lose it, you're not going to damage it. Um, yeah, it's the perfect solution. And, and, yeah. and it isn't a case that's hard to take off and put on either. Oh, it's not, it's not difficult, but it's still extremely protective. Uh, it's pretty easy to put and on. And it's like the soft silicone mm -hmm. and really, really protective. So you drop your phone, right. it's still going to protect it. You don't have to give up one for the other. Exactly. Yep. That's nice. Now, when are these going to be available and what's the price point? Stuff uh, like that. Well, they're actually available now for order um, on our website at GrivenTechnology.com. Uh, it's $19.99 and that includes the case and the reader. What? Yes. Wait, a, hang on a it's minute. It's that good. That's really good. <laughs> Wait, the last time I checked, I thought the little readers were like 10 bucks or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, now you can get it with the case, and uh, it's uh, 20 bucks. Yeah. That is so amazing. Mm -hmm. I swear to you, I, I was certain you were going to tell me, oh, it's like 39.95. No. Nope. I was thinking 49.99, and I'm thinking it, it's so useful. Yes. It's worth that. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's definitely. And it, it, it's a can great. Can I see it for a yeah, second? Go ahead. I just want to feel it. It's. It's a nice, solid kind of feel to the rubber, although it's a little lighter than I thought, and it's a really a durable kind of feeling rubber. So I wouldn't feel bad about, you know, especially dropping on the corner or something. Yeah, you're it's not going to anything it's gonna <laughs> It's bouncy it. now. Nice. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Give it a little squeeze. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, you brought another little gadget with you. Yes, I know you're very excited about this one. I am. <laughs> Tell us all about it. Well, this is our PowerMate Bluetooth. Um, and as I know you're familiar with, uh, we first came out with uh, um, our original PowerMate in 2001, uh, which hooked up through USB. Uh, it's still extremely popular, but we wanted to take it to the next level. <laughs> you're right. I'm going to roll um, around. <laughs> and um, yeah, so now it's wireless. And Wonderful. what it is, it's a programmable controller. Uh, so you can use it in any of your Mac applications. And it makes you feel like a DJ. Like, yes. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yes. So you can <laughs> click it and spin it um, and assign different key commands to it. All right. So um, as I understand it, it's got like there's a basically like six different ways you can you can function with it, right? You Correct. Can, you can turn it. Mm -hmm. You can push it down, hold it, and, and turn, turn it. it. Right. You can. You can just push and hold as a command. Or you can tap it, and, right? Or, or 
tap it or push it. It'll do a lot of stuff. Yes. And you program each one of those things to do something, and, you, and it's application specific. Did you just say that right. a minute ago? Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. I'm like, get smart, but <laughs> my brain goes much sm much slower than that. So. Right. Yeah, like right now we have it hooked up in our booth to um, uh, iMovie. Uh, mm. We have it hooked up to uh, iTunes as well to shuffle through songs and control volume. Um, so you just download the software, and you can program it to any um, key so, command you want it to so perform. So I'm using it for iMovie and spinning it does one thing. I'm using another mm -hmm. application. Spinning it would do... A, an, another thing that you set it to do. Whatever Photoshop. you want. Photoshop. Mm -hmm. You could have... What I really like, because we have one of the older wired versions. Right. And it's really great for video editing mm -hmm. if you want to scrub through video, which means you're moving through the timelines, which is hard to do with a mouse. Yes. I mean, it's, it's more intuitive to turn a wheel and see the video moving back and forth, but dragging with a mouse, it just doesn't work well. Yeah, this makes it much, much easier. Yeah, and especially because you can take this and stick it in a bag or a backpack or whatever. By the way, how do you turn it on and off? I don't see a power button. No, there's not. It's actually um, uh, turned on and off with, a, or it's batteries. Uh, so th uh, there's two AAA batteries in here. It'll last uh, basically the same amount of time as like your um, Apple mouse you know, would last. So if I just shove it in my bag, it kind of goes to sleep or something? Uh, yeah, or you could take the batteries out, of, you know, just to, yeah. you know, make sure. I you're wouldn't not, do that. Yeah, yeah you I'm, could just shove I'm it in your bag. I'm too lazy. I'll just bring extra batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. just shove it in your bag and you're good. But they'll last a long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now When's is, it coming out? Sorry, go ahead. Is, is it hard to program? Because that's my thought no. is that I need something that is not going to take a lot to figure out how to... Yeah, no, it's real easy. We actually updated the software um, from the older version, so it's even more intuitive and just easy to um, uh, program the key commands. Uh, just a little drop-down menu, right? Yeah, you yeah. Choose a program, choose what you want from the drop-down menu, you're done. Mm -hmm. oh, it's I that like easy. That. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. How much? Uh, this will be $59.99, um, and it comes out this summer. Wonderful. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I want to be the first person ever to get one in the whole world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, any other big big updates that we need to go over? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of really great stuff at our booth as well. Um, we have our Moto TC Rally, which is our uh, new race car. We have a racetrack set up, and people are racing it around so you can see it live in action. Um, we have a bunch of new uh, uh, kids' cases, a kazoo line with fun little an animals, uh, Oh, yeah, we got a lot going on. We have our uh, Studio Connect HD is big. It's our um, all-in-one uh, multi-track recording studio. It's under glass, but uh, you can come to our booth and check it out there. Nice. Um, yeah. So we got a lot of great stuff. And you have a charging station also. Yeah, we do. We have our multi-dock station there. Um, it'll charge 60 devices. Um, so if anybody's looking for How a charge, many? stop by our booth. 60. Um, S that's yeah. not one six. That's six zero? Yeah, six. Well, so the, the multi-dock, it's a 10 bay unit, but we, we brought six Stack of them. Em. So yeah, we nice. have them stacked up so we can charge 60 devices. And it's Sweet. nice. They look all clean because yes. you put them upwards so they're not taking up a whole bunch of space or scratching each other. Right. I don't have 60 devices, but I want one just because it <laughs> sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thanks for coming and sharing with us. We look forward to playing with all of these and doing transactions on our little square Great. and all that good stuff. Good. Really cool. All right, guys. Stick around. we got a lot more coverage coming from uh, CES Live here 2014, and we'll be right back.